This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So guys, today I've got an American version of the New Holland Big Square Baler. See it right here. I'm heading up to a grass field to give this thing a whirl. Um, once we get up there, let's, we'll take a look at it here in the shop. But what makes this the American version is one, the coloring. American New Holland bailing equipment is typically red and yellow. So we've got the red and yellow scheme working here. We also have a reservation tank on the top uh, that typically farmers will use uh, that will then, I guess, spray the bale with a liquid. I'm not really up to speed on exactly what it does, other than to tell you. That, that is kind of what you'll see nowadays on these big balers. Got our slow moving vehicle sign on the back, which is also something that you typically see. So we don't have those weird red and white warning signs that you see on European equipment. So I've got a couple windrows here, all set up with grass. Before we get to mowing, Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing here in the shop. Pull up the shop and we go to baling technology. We're going to see we have the New Holland BB340 by the Elite Modding Quebec. They are a Facebook group and I will leave you a link in the description below to their Facebook page. Now they've got a few other mods. I'm going to basically show you one other mod of theirs that they have on their Facebook also today uh, but they've got some other stuff they've got I think a Americanized John Deere um, 6M and uh, they might have a couple other things up there also but I wasn't going to go ahead and download them all at this point I just wanted to show you off this baler and then we've got a pretty cool harvest store um, hayloft silo that I want to show you guys look here at the big baler See, this is the standard configuration. The red and yellow color scheme looks pretty good to me. What we can do is we can go with the tank or without the tank. See, we added the tank to it. Adds $1,000 to it, and we can change the wheel setup. We've got standard. We've got twin radial, which is what I've got on the one at the field. Go with twin forestry. Our cargo X bib Michelin tires, and we can also change the capacity from 4,000, 5,000, all the way up to 10,000 liters. One and two. Now the one I've got up here at the field is just set to 4,000 liters. Let's go ahead and place that out of tank that one and let's run down here to the shop just to take a look at them a little better detail this is the one without the preservation tank with the Michelin tires we have the one with the preservation tank with um, I guess the twin twin radial tires All right, let's go up here and see how this thing works. Let's unfold it. Lower the pickups. Let's turn the pickups on. And let's get to bailing. Now, the European version, the yellow version that came out from the Giants Mod Hub uh, the other day, it has the animation there at the bottom also. Let's, let's zoom in and take a look at that. So there under the bottom we've got that, um, I don't know what the technical term for that is, but you see it will animate as a bale comes out, basically as it makes a new bale. 
or knives or what you call those. Watch it again, right above the tires. There go. Let's just see, did these little knotter things move? That'd be cool if they popped up and down. Also, when you made a bail. Nope, doesn't look like they move at all. There you go, guys. We have the American version of the New Holland Square Big Baler from the Elite Botting Quebec. Let's jump over here and take a look at this cool placeable. Silos. Got the Lizard Harvestor Silo. Test area. Plop it down. Let's give us a hot jump spot. It's listed as a hayloft. So pretty simple. What this does is it stores hay, straw, and grass. And I think wood chips also. Hay, straw, grass, silage, wood chips, and corn. Missing enough, so we can use this as a corn silo. Here is your dump point. We're going to basically be unloading into this blower, which then will be blowing all the way up to the top. That's how they work in real life. Nice if this was hooked up to something, like a, uh, a model of a small tractor or a generator or something. And then we've got the output pipe right here. So we come up under the output, and we will then fill from it. But you know what? You see these big blue silos everywhere in the US on the countryside so it's pretty cool to be able to put one of these things down now on actual farm. Also again these are from the Elite Modding Quebec. They are a Facebook group so I will leave you a link to their Facebook page in the description below. So guys let me know what you think of both of these mods and until next time happy farming.